Hello, hello, this is Misty. This is Misty. Let's just get right in it. So I didn't even get out my coat. Then I'm ready to come over and do this one over here. Okay, so today must be a day uh, to F with Misty. So I get up this morning and I'm being verbally attacked by someone named Candace Thompson that comes on my Etsy shop to purchase tarot cards for me. Now, I, I ship from the U.S. Postal Service. But I have an option whether you want it USP or the other shipping, um, the shipping companies around. So this person picked priority shipping. I told the person when they made the order on the 21st of October, I cannot do priority shipping. I have um, a predetermined price that I have on my shipping. What I'll do is... I'll return the money and we could do regular shipping. So the person never did it. Get back to today. Today is the 25th. Five days has passed. I asked this person again. So she emailed me back. She said, isn't that your first, isn't that your MF and job to change the shipping? No, ma'am. It isn't my job to change the shipping. I have no ability to go and change the shipping because you pick priority service and me as a a business owner, I can't go into someone's uh, order and tell them what kind of shipping they want. The customer has to change the shipping. So anyway, make a long story short. This lady was very mean, rude, and hateful to me. I mean, every single last thing that she said was rude and hateful to me. I mean, I have numerous orders from this lady being rude and hateful. Now, I went and... I have a ritual that I have before I um, ship out my items. I pray over my items and then I'll ship them out. So this particular instance, when I was on my way to ship it out, I got a funny feeling. And I called her back. I mean, I, I emailed her back and I said, ma'am, I have returned your money. I have returned your $309. I have returned it. So she like, Oh, you petty ass bitch. You a petty ass bitch. Cause I ain't wanna change my my um my shipping. You gonna just cancel my item, you petty ass bitch. Then she goes with these uh negative remarks. Oh, you old ass bitch. Yeah, I watch your channel. You old ass bitch. You watch it. You, what else she said? You old ass bitch. You ratchet. You lonely. I'm going to get you together. Now, mind you this. After I done sent the thing saying that I am going to send you your money back. And I'm going to add extra money. I'm going to add extra money to it. Because this one is an inconvenience to you. Do you know she sent more to my phone? This is how many times I have to deal with Candace Thompson being disrespectful. Now, mind you this, I have already sent this lady her money back. This is a refund right here for the $309. I'm still, I sent her the cancellation and said, I'm canceling your order. Now, mind you this, this is my business. If I feel like I don't want to give my products to somebody, I don't have to. My thing is this, I'm a big one on voodoo. I'm not trying to be funny, but my grandmother is from St. Parish, Francis, Louisiana. And if didn't nobody know nothing about voodoo, it was Ernestine Miles. That would be my grandmother. And my thing is, I'm not selling my stuff to nobody. This is why I'm very intuitive about my thing. I'm not selling to nothing to no one that has a bad aura about them. I'm not doing that. And I got that from this lady. I got that from the get-go. I got that from her. I said, this one here is a comic. And I'm not selling my products to her. <clears throat> this one here act real nasty. I'm not selling nothing to her. So make a long story short, Mystic about to do a uh, uh, what you come. And Miss Taylor, thank you. Let me let me break this down for Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor, when you came behind this woman, hold on, let me let me shout out Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor, I would like to shout out Taylor Webster. 
I would like to shout out Demetria Gray. I would like to shout out Powerful Flowers Gems. I would like to shout out Evelyn Siqueres. I would like to shout her out too. And I would like to shout out Don Smith. These were all the orders that I had from off of my site this morning. And they came behind this woman. They came behind all of those names that I just met, that I just said, thank you. Because they came behind this woman with positive vibes. I was ready to stop selling stuff and say, forget my Etsy shop, forget you too. But I said, I'm not. I, these people, when those five names that came behind this woman, they came with positive energy. They came with love and hope. And that is why I said I wasn't going to stop selling my stuff and I wasn't going to stop my Etsy channel. I'm not the one that go around starting things with people. But I am one that gets intuitive messages and intuitive guides. And I got an into, in, uh, in, uh, uh, intuition. Don't mess with this person. Yes, I am, again, big on voodoo and all this stuff. I don't know if you're going to get my stuff and put damn hexes on it. I don't know if you're going to get my stuff and put voodoo on it, but my thing is, I know that my intuition was right. Because this lady called me all kinds of ugly bitches. And I know I ain't no ugly bitch because Sam and Marlene ain't make no ugly bitch. Sam and Marlene ain't make no stupid bitch. And Sam and Marlene, daughter that they made, is smart enough to know not to deal with mind fuckery and people that do stupid shit. So what we going to do is we going to have a reading on toxic people. That's what we going to have a reading on. Why is it that when people is wrong with themselves and they act the way they do, then they want to tear down your character because they messed up. That's going to be the reading today. Why when people mess up and they know they messed up, they want to tear down your character so you can be a uh, messed up and hateful with them so holy spirit holy angels we come to you today that is going to be the reading for right now at 12 52 p.m when you go through things and people act the way they do and you find out that they are messed up individual when you find out that they are messed up individual then they try to put salt on your game to make you act up like they are. Oh, because believe me, I was getting ready to take it there. If that lady Taylor wouldn't have came behind me and purchased them cards and left that message and said that high vibe of energy, I was going to stop it. Seriously. I was going to stop it. I was going to stop it. Seriously. So the first one that comes out why people do things and be hateful to the things that, that, that you're trying to do is because they try to break you down because you're not on the level that they are on. And they try to dim your light and dim your shine because they want you to be mean and hate like they do. So they send hate messages to people because they feeling evil, hateful, and nasty. And they want you to feel the same way that they do. They going through a, a energy of heartbreak and pain. And they want you to feel the way that they feel. No. They caught up with their feelings and can't deal with themselves. So because they feel hateful, nasty, they want you to feel hateful and nasty. Because again, hurt people hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. And I had to sit there and I had to pray about it. Before I even took my jacket off, I said the only way that I can get out of this energy is to do a read about this person. And find out why do people do that. You in an evil, hateful spirit, they want you to be there too. Yeah. And when people are mean and hateful and they want you in that same spirit that they in, they check your social media. The spiritual belt. They check your social media. They check on the things that you do to see that if you living the way you living. I'm trying to find out. Yes, you can go on your Instagram and see who you on it. I don't know this case, this Thompson's from a day of can of paint. But what I do know, I do know that she was on my um 
Instagram checking in my business. What I do know, she was on my Facebook checking in my business. I, I don't know this person from a cane of paint. This is just somebody that watched my YouTube channel and went over to my Etsy page and bought some things. However, when she kept going back and forth, she told me issues about my boyfriend, my fiance, Antonio Applewhite. She told me it, um, some, some stuff about my kids, which let me know that you already researched me, went on my page, went on my social media, even calling out my kids' name. Had the unmitigated uh, goal and the audacity to say, your daughter, not Jay. Really? You know that much about me, lady, that you calling out my daughter's name? You know me that much? You don't know me from a can of paint, but you calling out DeAndre. You calling out my son's name? It takes a sick individual to sit there and go through somebody's business and stop. Stay away from me. And see, this is why I wanted to stop my YouTube channel and stop my Etsy. These people know all this about Mystic. Mystic don't know nothing about this lady. But she know all my business, know my boyfriend's name, all of that. I never mentioned my boyfriend's name to nobody on YouTube. But she went on my Facebook and seeing me and Antonio together, see pictures on it. I'm like, whoa. I know my intuition was giving me something to say, something. I tell you, I had a pain in my back on my shoulder blade. When and I and I'm not lying. I went and bagged up all this stuff that she made. She wanted cards. This is what I had made this, and I was on my way to uh package it up. And I usually say a prayer. I all this stuff she purchased. I went and said a prayer. Lord Heavenly Father, divine. Please bless, bless the items that is given to. And I looked on there and I said her name. When I did that, I had a strong sensation in this part of my back. And something said, don't deal with that person. That person is a common. Something isn't right about that person. So when I called the person, when I told the person, I said, I'm going to um, give you your, I'm going to return your money. And I had already refunded the money or whatever the case may be. She went all, she cussed me out, called me all kinds of bottom feeders, say I wear cheap clothes. I go to Dillard's. I need, um, I need that $309 because I'm a broke bitch. I be doing all this faking like I got money and all the rest of this. I'm trying to find out. Damn, you know more about me than I know about myself. And I'm trying to figure out how did this go out. This is why I said I'm about to be done with this YouTube and this itchy stuff. I don't do people being in my business. I don't do people trying to figure out what's going on with my life. But because those five people came behind this woman and had nothing but positive things to say, it's the reason why I won't stop. I get one person that's negative and five come behind her that's so positive and has so many positive things to say to me. I'm like, I never did anything to anybody. Why are y'all acting like this? Y'all are mean and hateful people. Y'all are mean. Anyway, I felt like I was being set up, set up to have someone do mean and hateful things to me, mean and a karmic. I don't know who this person was. You put too much energy in it. And I was right to say that I felt in danger by somebody wanting to do something to me. If it was not any malice intent done, why did you send all these messages to my phone? You could have accepted your $309 and went on your way. This is why I don't get this YouTube thing. I don't get this YouTube thing. I don't get none of the, 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 the media sites that I'm in. What is it? Someone wants to communicate with me and I don't want to communicate back. So you be mean and hateful to me. I'm not a weak ass person and I'm not crying right now. I'm angry as hell. 
I'm angry as hell. Because someone took the initiative to be all up in my business and investigate me. But guess what? I got the divine on my side. I got my ancestors on my side. That's why my intuition said, don't deal with you. It's something with you. And you know what, Miss Thompson? I did my research, darling. You that hater ass bitch that used to deal with Bam. Yeah, I found that out. Oh, yes, I have an IT friend. You forgot I work for the Metropolitan Police. I have an IT friend that worked for the police and was able to track your phone number, darling. So now, you, you hater, I found out that it's not no one from my YouTube page. This is a hater for a man that I haven't dealt with for two years. Don't know where he's at. Blocked his number from my phone. I don't even go over my mother's house in fear of seeing this person. Because he live in my mother's neighborhood. This is one of his chicks, a mattress back, that comes to me because this man that she still would still want to get with me. So she figures she going to buy some stuff of mine to get in my business because and that's another thing that I need to change. I need to take my address from off that return shipping label from when I do send my stuff out. This one came out her mouth after she did all of this and I did my investigation. Goes on my page and say, oh, I got your address. Goes in my DM. You have been FBI, ABC, all up in my business. So what you do is you try to go buy some items from me to try to get in my business. You're now chasing me being a hater because your home is in chaos and your man want to come back over here. So you're going to try to make my life miserable. Darling, I have a ring on my finger. I, I have a ring on my finger, sweetheart. I am engaged to Antonio Cecil Applewhite, okay? That is the man that I choose to be with. I don't choose to be with the one that you're chasing that wants me that, that I do not want. Okay? So get out my business. Stop trying to buy stuff from me. Stop trying to be my friend and be friend me online. Oh, yeah, these is all the things that these people do. Playing stupid ass ghetto games. Yeah. We got one mystic has one in her miss that wants to play ghetto games. Mm-hmm. Because she's still trying to figure out her dude is cheating. And she's trying to figure out, is he cheating with Mystic? Yeah, that's what she's trying to figure out. They're going through all these fights. They're going through all these things. But sweetheart, I am putting my life back together. I don't want to be bothered with that anymore. I don't want to dick dealer in my life. I don't want to cheat in my life. I don't want to deal with someone that lies to me. This is an issue that you have within yourself. Your man goes through the phone and think about me. You go through his phone and sees that he's still hacking, looking through phones or anything. That's not my issue. You need to take that up with your man. You're living in my shadows because you want to be like me. I mean, it takes a sick person. Yeah. The witch doctor. So we have someone sneaking and grinning all in my business. Going to see the witch, doc witch doctor. Trying to destroy me. Because if nobody haven't looked at my stats. I know somebody done did some, kind of, uh, some type of voodoo on me. Look at my stats. If anybody been with Mystic since day one. Last week. I had 21,000 subscribers. Now this week, I'm down to 12. And the bitch told me, oh, I'm going to keep fucking with your channel till you don't have no, no uh, subscribers. I'm going to keep fucking with your Etsy to where nobody don't order shit from you. Mm -hmm. So you tell me Mystic wasn't on point when she said somebody out here trying to destroy her. Mystic was on point when she said, I'm not selling my shit to nobody. So somebody could come over there and put hexes, voodoo curses and things on the things that I have. Hmm. So it is a good thing for this dummy who 
I was told I'm a stupid bitch that this dummy, every time this dummy ships something out, I pray on it. I give it to the divine. Is this person deserving of the message that you have for them to the divine? And divine said no. And that's why I gave that money back. So when I gave the money back, it opened up this Pandora's box to all of these things that this person has been doing to me. Because, and then you're a coward. You write all this stuff on the phone and then you delete it. That's what I don't understand. If you had something to say to somebody, coward, you say all you have to say, then you delete it. You delete it. But the thing was, I had already took screenshots of it. Because when I was coming back in the house, I wasn't able to address the, the hate from the Texas because I was driving home from motor vehicle getting my car inspected. So I was not able to address the hate. When I got in here and investigated, I see all of it on there. Now it's all gone. So that's what I'm saying. You want to be me, want to copycat me, and do all the things I do, but you can't even stand up to me. Everything that you that this chick text me on all media platforms and my Etsy, it's disappeared. That's what I'm saying. These chicks is off the hook. They off the hook. And yes, I know I have a copycat. I know that this chick is copycatting me. I know that she want, I mean, like, for real, if I didn't like a person, I'm not giving them no money trying to buy their stuff. Come on now, that is a sick individual. You're sick. You're sick. Then you try to put me down. I'm ugly. I'm ugly. I'm cheap. I think I look good in my, uh, my, uh, thrift store clothes. That shows this chick been looking at me for a long time. Because, yes, I do dress at the thrift shop, but I also dress at high-end consignment shops and things of this nature. Oh, I'm ugly, I'm weak, I buy cheap clothes, and all this. Yeah. So now, what's going to put me in the energy every time that I do a, a video or whatever? Who is watching? Everywhere that I go. People I don't know who don't know me no more. I suggest you lay low because they watching. Yeah, they watching every plum damn thing that Mystic is doing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, they watching every plum damn thing Mystic is doing. And they sitting over there training themselves to be like Mystic. They training themselves to dress like Mystic and go shopping. They training themselves being an inconspicuous bitch watching everything Mystic do. Because they a fucking switch up artists. That's who we dealing with over here. But guess what? Keep on watching. I'm going to keep on being successful. I'm going to keep on doing me. Because yes, I did think about giving up not to let nobody in my business. But that ain't never been a Misty, a Trey Sean, Juanita Joe Miles to give up. No, I'm going to keep on having y'all talk. Keep my name up in your mouth because I know I'm doing something right. Because you're talking about me. You're looking me up. You're all up in my business and you're mad because that name that you so-called won't he a player and don't want your ass. This why you revengeful from me and want to fight me. This why you got blood on your hands because your so-called man that you call taking from somebody still want the other one. I don't want his ass. It's the same shit, different day. So keep your MF and focus off me. And I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you again. Bye, Felicia.